when you have asymptotes, it gets more interesting. Um, so let's say y is equal to f of x graph is is um, say at negative one. So there's a horizontal asymptote that comes like that. At negative one it peaks and then comes down. <coughs> and at two, positive two, it bottoms out. And then goes up. And he, here, when it goes up, let's say the graph follows some slanted asymptote. And let's say this, the asymptote here, this asymptote here has uh, the equation y equals to, uh, say, um, 1.5x minus 7 or something. So let's say. So, so the formula for the function fx is not given, but the, the slanted asymptotes formula is given. Okay. In that case, how should we draw the graph of f prime of x? To begin, you, you do the, the same technique as before. You, you just identify uh, points where the slope is zero. When, it, when is the slope zero? <coughs> At negative one and two, the slope is zero, right? So where, where should the f prime pass through? At negative one, it has to be zero. So let's say this is negative one. At two, the value of the function should be zero. Right? And then you ask whether the function is increasing or decreasing. Okay? But before negative one, is the function increasing or decreasing? Increasing. It's increasing. So if you put plus, right? Between negative one and two, is the function increasing or decreasing? And then um, after two, is the function increasing or decreasing? <coughs> So that, that much we know. So in, increasing, decreasing, increasing. So the graph should be somewhere here, somewhere here, and somewhere there. Now we have to think about what, what to do with these, these asymptotes. Right? So the slope is zero here. Slope is a positive slope here. What happens to the slope as you go left? The slope becomes more horizontal, right? Horizontal slope is what? Zero. zero. So as, as you go further left, it should become closer and closer to zero. Is that right? What about when you go further right? It gets closer and closer to this curve here, right? Uh, this line here, right? What's the slope of this line? 1.5, right? So the value of the slope should get closer and closer to what? 1.5. So now this is what you do. Uh, you, you, before negative one, you, you have some positive value. And uh, it would be nice if you can, act, if, if the graph is drawn well, you can actually uh, look at this and then briefly draw this and, and look at the rise over run to figure out the slope. But you don't necessarily have to be that exact. It's, we're just trying to draw, uh, make a crude drawing uh, that captures all the, the fundamental aspects the f prime should obey, right? And those are things like uh, where does it have z zero slope? Is, should it be over the x-axis or below the x-axis? Uh, does it have any asymptotes? So the, those are the questions that you should address, right? Okay, so it's going to be like like this, right? So it, it, it has some positive slope here, but before that, 
uh, the further you go left, the value of the slope is closer and closer to zero. So, in other words, you have this horizontal asymptote as you go left. Okay? Now, between negative 1 and 2, you have a negative slope, so it should, you should have a portion of graph that goes like that, connecting these two. And after 2, it goes up, increasing, because it does get steeper. Right? But it doesn't get steeper beyond what? 1.5. 1.5 is the maximum steepness you're allowed, right? So as you go right, you have this horizontal asymptote at 1.5. So that's, that's the graph. 